Welcome to the podcast series Journey to Success. I'm your host Faizan Farzan, CEO of Busy Stack, an Amazon service provider network approved organization, working in the field for the past seven years. Success came in va- various forms and is different for everyone. However, in the Journey to Success, we will be discussing the financial freedom and business success. E-commerce has changed a lot since the COVID-19 pandemic and the retail e-commerce GMV shares of Amazon in the United States is around 50% in 2021. 2022 was a great year despite the growth recession hitting globally and with 2023 around the corner, it's expected that this year will further grow with high growth rate. Today, we will be looking uh, in the market uh, in general, new opportunities for the sellers in the form of new marketplaces, the most importantly, marketing strategies and logistic issues. For that, I have a very special guest with me who is known as the vision, growth and profit strategist. Throughout his journey, he has uh, sold over $100 million in sales between his own products and services and opportunities he has procured for clients. He's an advisor, a coach, and inspiration and entrepreneur. You must know him by name, the beard guy, Mr. Norman Farrer. So how are you, you? Norman? I'm I'm doing fine. (laughs) That's great. That's great. How are you today? I'm awesome. That's great. So uh, let's start uh, the session. So as you know, the hype quarter, the Q4 is ending now. And people have to prepare for the Q1. So what do you think that which key factors they have to keep in mind uh, for preparing their strategies for the Q1? Well, first of all, um, they're going to be making a lot of money um, during this, this the Q4. Usually mm-hmm. for a lot of people, it's 80% yeah. of their sales are coming in Q4. Yeah. But they don't spend it wisely. They, they mm. feel that they, you know, they forget about capitalization, ah. which is the most important part of Amazon. And they go on a, a, a binge. Like in, in Canada, you know, I, I always say uh, we go from bologna to eating steak. Ah. And that's probably the wrong strategy. You mm. want to definitely put some, some money aside. Uh, you you want to take a look at, mm. you know, reinvesting, but also possibly diversification. So mm. you're looking at other products that could help your brand. Um, mm. Another thing that's happening in Q4, and I know there's a lot that we're going to be talking about today, but renegotiating is another main strategy with your stra- with your suppliers right now. Mm. They're hungry. Uh, they need to get dollars. Uh, it's yeah. a it's a tricky business over in China right now, mm-hmm. and uh, renegotiation of terms uh, is something that I would highly recommend. Mm, that's great. That's great. You know, uh, I just learned in the book that uh, that was from the uh, saying from the businessman: if you want to earn more profit and want to compete with your seller, what you have to do, you have to focus on your manufacturer. And the point was to do the negotiation as much as negotiation you can do with your manufacturer. It will be easier for you to compete the price for in the market. Yeah. You know, you are bang on because yeah. uh, I was talking to a guy, a very knowledgeable man, his name mm. is Scott Deep, And he was talking to me about an incident where a company was basically going bankrupt. Mm-hmm. They went back to their supplier and they mm-hmm. renegotiated and what they did instead of having purchasing twice a year, they bought it in every month and a half. Mm. And so what happened, it broke up the inventory and it broke up the payments where he saved over $400,000 a year mm. in cash flow because he broke up the amount of times a year he purchases inventory. Mm. Yeah, that, that's a huge amount. I, I wouldn't mind so, that. Yeah. So, uh as you know, uh, after the Q4, uh, there might be a huge decline in sales. So uh, what are your suggestions to deal with uh, overall market sales drop? Well, there, there definitely is going to be a decline. Uh, after usually what I've seen uh, is J- uh, January the 15th. That's when mm-hmm. you start to see the decline. 
-hmm. And it always happens. If anybody thinks that their sales are just going to carry forward, uh, they're not. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it, there's definitely valleys and plateaus. So mm -hmm. the peak is Q4. And then when you come back, you're going to have to put in some sort of campaigns. Now, if you're using inserts and you're mm -hmm. driving sales over to or, or driving uh, traffic over to your external website, mm -hmm. uh, you want to gather email addresses. So you provide an added value or something people want. It could be an extended warranty. It could be something that they need. It's not a, it's not research or it's mm -hmm. not a PDF file. Uh, usually it's not a PDF file. I mean, it could be a cookbook. It could be mm -hmm. whatever, but it's added value. So this is where after you, uh, um, after uh, Q4, when you get into Q1, you could create marketing campaigns directed mm. to your repeat customers. Repeat customers love your product. They want to buy your product. Yeah. You offer a discount. You send it out. You you and mm. you put them into an email sequence. Like we had a um, we had a, a a a customer we were working, our client we were working with that sold knives. And we created a 52 week meal plan. Mm -hmm. So every week that customer got their mm -hmm. meal plan and their recipes yeah. and once mm -hmm. in a while a promo for a new product. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's one way of doing it. Keeping, and that's just keeping you in front of people's eyes. The other thing is external traffic, like driving traffic from Facebook or TikTok or whatever platform you're comfortable with. And Amazon's going to reward you with the brand referral program. So you, you get 10% credit back to mm -hmm. your account. There's yeah, lots definitely. of different ways. Mm. I was going to say there's room. lots of different ways. Definitely, there is a lot of room available if, uh, like, it's not that the Q1 is declining the sales, but you do have a lot of things to do that you can do for your brand and you can uh, make consistent sales uh, in the Q1 as well. Not like Q4, but you can get the consistent sales for your brand. Right. They even get influencers. Yeah. So influencers, I mean, if you know how to find them, it, mm. it's, it, you know, it's not hard to do. And there's apps out there that make really great content videos right now for very inexpensive, mm. you know, very inexpensive. And they yeah. look very high quality, but influencers are a great way to spread out your network over the uh, Q1, Q2, Q3. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's, a, it's a great for the sellers. They can uh, do that. Yeah. So as as uh, we are uh, preparing these things, we are doing uh, the Facebook campaigns, the TikTok and other things. But, you know, um, most of the people, they source their product from Chinese manufacturer and there are a public holidays and all that in Q1 as that. So how uh, they can deal with all these kind of things and how they can plan all these things uh, during that. I don't know about you, but for the most part, anybody that we're working with, uh, most plan too late. Mm -hmm. So dealing with any holidays, they plan three months out or two months out. Mm -hmm. It's already too late. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're talking about February and mm -hmm. we probably started planning a month yeah. ago. You know, because you've got to give it time. You've got to give your manufacturer time and you got to go back to your manufacturer mm -hmm. even to see if they're prepared for that. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that we've done is we've created this uh, inventory cycle. Mm -hmm. So let's just say that like I've got product. Um, I have it in our warehouse. Mm -hmm. If I order a thousand units that come in, I'll send 500 mm -hmm. over to Amazon, keep 500 over in the uh, warehouse. But I'll ask my manufacturer if he'll put a thousand into stock for me and mm -hmm. I'll pay 10% or 20%. And then mm -hmm. once I get triggered, I'll order those right away. So I can get them on the water or I can air some over while they're on the water. And then he puts another, uh, puts another order in for production. So mm -hmm. you never run out of inventory and you can, if you get tight for holidays, you can instantly get your inventory coming over. But uh, Q, uh, sorry, for holidays, you have to think of Chinese New Year. By the way, mm -hmm. we know right now that many factories in China are doubling their time. Yeah, They're not going out for the regular time. They're doubling it. 
Mm-hmm. So people are taking an extended vacation during Chinese New Year because the economy is so bad. Mm-hmm. So anyways, that's something that you have to take into consideration. And when you're looking at Chinese New Year, you really got to plan four to six months out. I don't know about you, but mm. that's the, sort of the time period. <clears throat> and you should be looking at a holiday uh, calendar because you've got so many holidays from like last uh, yesterday, Thanksgiving in the mm-hmm. States. Yeah. Patrick's Day, there's hundreds of, in mm-hmm. Canada, selling into Canada, we mm-hmm. have different holidays and in different provinces. Like we'll have mm-hmm. Canada Day and in Quebec, it'll be St. John uh, uh, Baptiste Day, mm-hmm. you know? And um, anyways, if you can, if you can hit all these little uh, holidays and you can plan in advance for them, you're going to get more mm-hmm. sales than a competitor who's just mm-hmm. sat on their hands. Yeah, definitely. Just it's uh, a long holiday season. It's just the Chinese New Year. So, you know, all the sellers try to get more stock for their product. As you know, there's a hype in the Q4. So everybody wants to get more stock, more stocks. And then the sellers, uh, they put more inventory, uh, the order to the manufacturer and might be five or 10 sellers. They do have the same manufacturer. You just have to make a clear bonding with the manufacturer and uh, you have to plan things uh, earlier so uh, you got everything on time without disturbing the sales like as you said the inventory cycle you have to work on that you have to plan that earlier exactly and with Mm. that comes the cash flow which if Mm. you understand your numbers and you understand uh, like uh, if you are properly capitalized uh, mm-hmm. You can take advantage of it. And I, I want to follow up with one thing. Mm-hmm. Sourcing, supply chain management is mm-hmm. the single most, it's the single area where you can just be on top of your competitor, mm-hmm. unlevel the playing field because of profit. You can mm-hmm. make profit here and it's all 1%, 2%, 3%, 1%. And all of a sudden, by doing things right and planning properly, you could mm-hmm. have an extra 10 or 15% back in your pocket and mm-hmm. making sure that you have the tariff codes yeah. uh, properly too, because that could kill you when you could be saving, you, yeah. you know, let's say the average tariff code is 30%. You might be mm-hmm. able to get it rid of yeah. all 30% and pay mm-hmm. nothing. Yeah, definitely can be. So uh, let's, Talk about other platforms and marketplaces where Amazon sellers can work and get most market shares. And uh, what options uh, does Amazon seller, FBA seller have for that? Okay, there's a lot. And look, there's an expression that I had when I, I, I got caught up in this uh, in my other business. And mm-hmm. that is being a one-legged stool. Um, so I put all my money, my time and my effort mm, into one thing, one company, and they went under, which cost me a lot of pain and aggra- uh, aggravation. Aggravation. So mm, think of that as Amazon. If you're only on Amazon and you're thinking that Amazon is everything, it's yeah. a big platform. It's the biggest yeah. product search uh, engine in the world mm, or retail uh, yeah. search engine in the world. But there's a lot out there. And so just to give you an example, uh, we were selling three products on Amazon that got suspended five times Mm -hmm. for the same reason. And each time it was appealed and we got approval, Mm -hmm. approval, approval, but it was a pain. We went over to Etsy, uh, or sorry, we went over to um, eBay, believe Mm -hmm. it or not. eBay is a great platform. They're really (laughs) trying to build up what, it's not the old Uh, eBay, which I, I used to be on, I got off. 150,000 in sales, 150,000 in sales for those three products mm. and no problem. They, and they were happy to have us as a brand. Mm. Uh, the other ones that are really great right now, I'm a big advocate of Walmart. Walmart oh. is doing everything to grow. Yeah. They've got 5,500 5, 5, locations that mm. are going to be built out for fulfillment. Oh. They have the ability to either you go and, and order and pick it up mm. yourself. Uh, they'll deliver to your house in an hour, 
Or mm. uh, you can go through WFS and have it delivered to you in two days, one to mm. two days. So they're trying to compete with Amazon. You've also got Etsy, which if you uh, are looking to get into print on demand, I have a few friends that are killing it right now on mm -hmm. Etsy. Uh, one made $66,000 last oh. month just mm. on print on demand, zero inventory. Mm. And then you've got your own platform, of course. And, you know, being able to understand Shopify or WooCommerce yeah. or uh, BigCommerce, mm. you know, they're... I like that platform, but you do have to know how to drive external traffic to it mm -hmm. and you're going to pay the price. So mm -hmm. people complain about Amazon's commission mm. um, and take that commission or their referral fee and you're going to put that into ads. And mm. you, you really do have to have a product that's around $50 or more uh, mm -hmm. to make it on Facebook. Yeah. But again, you can use influencers. You can do a lot to drive mm. traffic. And then, uh, there, there are so many, like Target is coming out. Uh, Costco is a, a really mm. great one. I don't know if they allow this still, but Costco was allowing two free, mm. like, no questions asked, listings onto mm -hmm. Costco Marketplace. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if that's still allowed. Uh, mm -hmm. But then, this might sound crazy, but there's retail. Mm. Uh, retail, if you do have cash flow, is a great option. So I know like with our customers, we have a, a approximately 2000 big time, big box retailers in the US mm. that we try to contact. Also, mm. uh, there's hundreds of thousands of small mom and pop shops that if you find your niche, you can go and they'll buy a case at a time, pay by mm. credit card, and you got cash up front. Yeah. So those are some of the things mm. that you can do and some of the, the platforms. But don't just stick with Amazon because one day you could get a really stupid email just yeah. suspending you for no apparent yeah. reason. Yeah, definitely it happened a lot with many of the sellers as yeah. I, I had faced these kind of issues uh, in my career as well. And they just like block your listing without any reason like it's, it's kind of stupid reason like you are selling the product and without nothing they just give you the email and that you cannot do anything and you right. know I, I i think if you write the appeal you cannot get your product approved within one appeal you have to go twice or three times then if, with, if you have any luck then you can get your product back yeah yeah, I, I agree. It's not once. Huh. And even yeah. something so simple, it could take it could take five, it could take months. Yeah. It I had one. You know the one that I was telling you about uh mm -hmm. with the five suspensions? Mm -hmm. It took us a year and a half oh, for the oh final suspension. A, a year long and a time. half. Long yeah. time. Yeah, and I had long. another company, a brand, that ah. they changed the name of their company. Uh -huh. And it took over a year mm -hmm. for Amazon to understand <laughs> that this brand was associated yeah. with the new brand. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of time. But there are some people uh, who want to stick with Amazon and uh, they, they want everything to be handled. Uh, so still, they do have the option of MCF. Like they can yeah. uh, do their listings on eBay, Shopify and other platform, Walmart. But if they receive the order, they can ship via Amazon uh, FBA warehouse using the MCF. It's, it's really yeah, easy you, for them. You can do that. You, you can definitely do that. Um, so the, that does give you their the multi-channel fulfillment. So um, it is something to explore. It makes mm -hmm. things easier. Yeah. Um, I know like Shopify has... Uh, uh, taken away the ability for uh, Amazon, yeah. like with the with the app, uh, yeah. it was so easy before. But uh, they really uh, are kind of butting heads right now. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen this year. It'll be interesting mm. to see how uh, Shopify uh, wants to compete with Amazon, which I think they're going to do a good job. Yeah, with. definitely. Uh, they they are collaborating with Google. They're pro they're promoting their products, and so they are in war with Amazon. You can say that uh, they are uh on the front line with each other so definitely, uh, absolutely yeah. and walmart i put those three yeah. together yeah yeah definitely There's... i you can say that because nowadays most of the people as you like you have mentioned about your product like got blocked so most of the people who are tired of appealing and these kind of things they are moving towards the walmart 
like yeah. uh, they want to explore the walmart as well because it's it's uh, going in hype and coming uh, in a very speedy way in the market most of the people they are moving uh, their products to walmart as well right yeah walmart is the natural progression but if you don't know how to list on walmart yeah uh, you'll just die uh, they mm. won't promote you so if yeah. you're copy this is one of the things to remember when you're going on to the walmart platform the one thing that you cannot do is copy your listing. Uh, If you copy your listing from Amazon, uh, it'll look like it's taken, but you're not going to get the promotion. uh, They want you to eat content. And what you mm, never, ever want to do is drop ship from Amazon uh, to a Walmart customer. If a Walmart customer sees a happy uh, smile on mm, a box and complains, uh, your account is suspended, not for a day, not for a month, but for life. Uh, for life. Yeah, definitely most of the uh, uh, platforms, they just want their customers to be happy. So they're very strict yeah. with them. So yeah. it, it, it's just a normal for every every platform, we can say that. So, uh, you know, uh, our, our today's podcast is totally related to the Q4 and Q1. So because uh, there, there's a huge difference between Q4 and Q1. So now uh, I just uh, want the audience to know about the Q1 as uh, all the questions are related to the sales drop. So the sales definitely they will drop, but how uh, they can work on the campaigns like the PPC campaign inside the Amazon and outside the traffic. So either they have to pause the inside campaign and focus on outside campaigns or they have to keep both active at the same time and how they can strategize these things. I'm glad you brought that up because uh, one of the, one of the mistakes, especially newer Amazon sellers make is they bid too high during fourth fourth quarter. So they Mm. get get all their profits sucked out of their account. Ah. And I had uh, one of the people I work with, they made $750,000 in sales mm. and they lost. Oh. They lost. So, you know, it's nice saying you have $750,000 in sales, but if you don't know those numbers again, ah. that's a problem. And the other thing, uh, like you were just talking about, pause. Well, pause is okay. Stopping a PPC mm. campaign is, you know, what is the expression? Death by a thousand paper cuts? Yeah. It, it, you're done. <laughs> You know, you don't, it's like starting Uh, over again. So always turn down the bids, keep it Mm. active, um, but don't just stop it. Like just keep it going. And that's one of the things, you know, it's, it's lower amount of sales. Mm. Um, People get discouraged with it, but it's just keeping the history there. And Mm. you want to make sure that that happens. And there's different types of, uh, of PPC. And one of the Mm -hmm. things, if you're doing, 20 plus sales a day. Uh, if you're not doing um, DSP, uh, you're missing out. Uh, one of our yeah. uh, one of our products, yeah. uh, we've got 25 times ROAS mm. on DSP. 25 times. Yeah. Where I've never seen that uh, going through PPC. Yeah, uh, definitely. I'm- DSP is a complete different thing than the PPC. It's it's a, it's a new word. You can say that it is. Yeah. yeah. Now the average, so uh, I've got a bunch of brands and mm. I've got one that's around five uh, times ROAS. I've got mm. another one that right now is 11 times. Mm. Um, the 25 was the most I've ever seen, but we roughly oh. run between three to, yeah, three to, the average would be three to seven, maybe. Mm. Uh, it's awesome. Every dollar spent, seven dollars back. I can yeah, definitely, definitely. Everybody gonna love that because if I know I have to spend one dollar and uh, gonna seven dollar come back, why why not I will spend there? Yeah, it's and a, it's you know a, another hmm. thing that people forget is uh, I love Amazon posts. I get yeah, lots of very important Amazon thing. posts. Definitely, and like one, I can I can show one image. It's got over two hundred thousand impressions, yeah. and that image you can you can see. They don't tell you the sales, but they'll show you the clicks to your 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 um, listing. Mm. And what happens is Amazon. But if you're an e-commerce person, you know that every time you click off 
and you mm. tell somebody you got to go to another page, to another page, to another page, mm. you lose 50 to 75% of traffic. And Amazon yeah. makes you do that four to five times. Mm. And if you're, if you have somebody that's over on your page, they're mm. there for a reason and they're there to buy. Yeah. So what happens is your conversion rate goes up. And what happens with conversion rate going up? Your PPC traffic uh, cost goes down. And that's mm. the other beautiful thing right now with P, uh, external traffic. If yeah. you're driving external traffic, Amazon's re re uh, rewarding you with the 10% credit. Yeah, 10%. And if it converts, you're going to get um, uh, a lower PPC cost. So it, it, yeah. it's good all the way around. Mm. And another area where you can drive extra traffic Q1 to uh, plateau your sales is mm -hmm. you can do it right now, but six months oh. earlier mm -hmm. is start to go live. Amazon mm. live. Yeah. Amazon live is an area that Amazon wants you to build a community, community mm. around your brand. You can see the follow in your store. You can see the follow mm. button in your post uh, in, in going live. You can use the Amazon influencer platform mm. to hire an influencer and then take their uh, pro their, their uh, videos uh, with permission and repurpose it in all your social mm. media, um, even on your related video. You can do a lot with it. Mm. You can take snapshots like what we do with yeah. um, uh, some of the influencers is we take their video, we cut up their video, mm. we take their uh, we take the video and we take screen captures. And now mm -hmm. we have material for our Amazon uh, post and yeah. we're constantly posting like three to five times a day. Mm -hmm. And it's just mixing up different influencers yeah. information. Mm -hmm. And there's so many things that you can do to yeah. help build your sales. And mm -hmm. one of the big ones is coming out of Q4. If you've got, let's say 50% of your overall sales mm -hmm. and you've got a really good um, uh, QR uh, code with a dynamic, it's a dynamic QR code. You could drive it over to a landing page, like I was talking to you earlier, get mm -hmm. the emails. And then on the season, let's say it's a St. Patrick's Day or mm -hmm. uh, a Valentine's Day, you can go in and change the dynamic URL yeah. in your QR code mm -hmm. to make it fit the holiday season. Yeah, the, I, I think these are the very important tips uh, that you shared with the audience. Uh, the first one, which is more the most important is Amazon Post, no doubts. It's a very beneficial for the sales, but you must have to be consistent. Like most of yes. the people, they just post one day or then do after second day and then one week. No, you have to follow this on daily basis. You have to do it repeatedly. Then you can build your audience and people uh, will see your product and then they came to your listing. Right. And the second one is the live that you have mentioned. No doubt it's a, it's a huge opportunity there to come uh, there and build your audience and that gonna be helpful for you all the time in all the quarters not just in quarter one two three all the time because that's your audience they will like your product once you will represent your product there you do have a lot of opportunity to convert the audience into the sales yeah and you don't, if you're a brand owner and you're not comfortable with it, you can hire somebody. Um, I, I call it a brand ambassador. Yeah, somebody that definitely. Can, you know, definitely. just speak on behalf of your brand yeah. and go live. A lot of people aren't comfortable uh, turning on their, and it's only an iPhone. Yeah. So you just have to turn on your yeah. iPhone and, and definitely. get talking, right? Mm. Yeah, so just you, you can use that. Either you are sitting... In the office, might be you are sitting at the in the home. You can just turn on your camera and you can go there and represent your product. But yeah, some people, forget, you know, yeah, just yes, please. You can I was going to say uh, an, another area uh, mm -hmm. which is an extension of live, but make some videos under your video related. Uh, like when you go down your listing, you've got uh, video related. Yes. Related, yes, uh, yes, related definitely. video. Related videos to the product. Fill them up. So make yes. a how-to, make a comparison video yes. with your product against three of your competitors. Yes. Don't ram them. Just say what your benefits are. And then, oh, well, you ah. know, I see the benefits. Uh, this is really, I would put this product 
five star. Yes. This product at four and a half, this is at four and a half, and this one's over. And, and you break it into criteria. Yeah. Amazon will let you do it. Yeah. And you can put that video uh, on your competitors' sites. Yes. And they can't that, remove that. Yeah, that, that's a very important tip. And I think if uh, I'm a customer, I saw that video. It's very easy for me to make a decision which product I have to buy. Right. And you are just catching the audience of your competitors. Exactly. Yeah, like very, very great thing. Like I think uh, people should use this idea uh, and they have to do that to get more conversion and more sales for their own product because it's a very unique thing that you can do that. And yeah. if uh, it's the thing that will go to the point uh, and pinch the customer's mind because they came to buy that product. And if they have the comparison, it's really easy for them to make decision which product they have to go for. Right. Yep. Yeah. And there's a, uh, mm -hmm. a another just a really quick tip for optimization that a lot of people don't realize mm -hmm. is that you can create your own questions and you could get somebody to um, post the questions for you mm -hmm. and you use your keywords or another brands. Uh, so you could mm -hmm. say, uh, let's say you're selling soap and you could say something along the lines like, um, uh, I really loved your pine tar soap. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, something like that. I, I mm -hmm. liked your handmade pine time, your natural pine tar soap. Mm -hmm. How does it compare to Dr. Squatch? Well, now I know, mm -hmm. like, Dr. Squatch is a very big brand. Yeah. I, I can get that in there and I could respond by saying, yes, Dr. Squatch is a great brand. However, yeah. and you could talk about your pine tar soap has yeah. all natural ingredients, blah, blah, ah. blah, blah, blah. And it's going to be indexed. Mm. It will be indexed. Yeah. So you can take 5, 10, 15 questions that you can get you people know, as to much as, as much as you can. And, yep. And get the keywords that you want to get mm. ranked. Yeah, definitely you can embed there and it's going to be uh, optimized by the algorithm and uh, it will give you the benefits not at the same time, but after some time. Right. Mm. Yeah, that, that's, where, uh, that's also a great idea. And uh, the influencer one as well, that's also a great thing that you have mentioned. Uh, you can uh, hire them as well. And with their permission, you can use their content for your own product. You can get the permission. You don't have to do anything, just a little. You can just uh, mold the video, cut some parts, or you can just get the snaps and you can post uh as your own product and you can get the traffic and you can get uh sales and traffics for your own product right so you have you have uh shared such a good ideas and i think that the, the point uh in the loss that was very important so if anybody will follow these instruction uh i i can say that definitely they can see growth in in the sales and in revenue either it's the q4 it's the q1 if they use these points and it's the right time they can make their strategy if they are not doing that it's the right time they have to move there and they have to make the strategy and they can grab the sales and they don't have to worry about it's the q1 and don't have the sales they can enjoy the sales exactly yeah. we hope <laughs> yeah hope so because if somebody will do that he, he must have the sales. Like if somebody will just uh, listen the points and do nothing, so he might not going to get any, any sales. You're so, you're so bang on. There's a lot of pro people that listen and they have great intentions, mm. but they don't take action. So the people yeah. that take action, yeah. they're the ones that actually reap the rewards. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the people who are doers, they change the history and they get the rewards. Right. If you are just a thinker, it, it doesn't matter what do you think. The main thing is how you convert your thinking into actions. That's it. Yeah. So uh, so today you have shared a lot of things with our audience. So uh, I'm really thankful to you. Thank you so much for your time. I know you do have the busy schedule. But 
uh these are a lot of things that you share with the audience and i hope so they will implement these things and after that they can see a huge different uh in the results so well, thank you so uh, much for time i hope so yeah oh, definitely you're very welcome so hope so in the future we might uh have another session and we will share more points with our audience you just let me know i'd be happy to come back thank you thank you so much thank you so much uh, i will be so thank you so much uh, for watching uh, this session we will be uh, come up in uh, with a new session with more points so if you want to cover up any of the topic please mention in the comment below section we will be happy to cover that topic for you thank you so much have a good day bye bye see you later